हे गाय साइज हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज कर्नल एस यू आफ्टर दैट आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कर्नल एस यू एंड मैजिस्क एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू फाइंड एंड डाउनलोड कर्नल एस यू फॉर अवर प्रॉपर डिवाइस एंड एट लास्ट आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल और वॉट इज द एक्चुअल प्रॉपर गाइड ऑफ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ कर्नल एस यू ऑन अवर डिवाइस सो If you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Very useful content I will upload on this channel, and uh, also join our Telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So, without any wasting of time, let's begin. So, first of all, talking about what is kernel SU. So, in simple words, kernel SU is a other routing method as compared to Magisk, or in other words, we can call the alternate routing method of Magisk. so this is the kernel su the talking about what is the main difference of kernel su in and magisk so kernel su talking about firstly uh, magisk so what happened in magisk magisk is patched with boot mg then it will uh, give us a root access that means uh, the patching mechanism is take place on boot and uh, magisk and after that we will get a root access okay but talking about kernel su what happened in kernel su the source code of kernel is modified uh, in simple words we uh, first of all the kernel is decompiled okay and after that the su is dumped on that kernel and again it will recompile it and after that it will give us a root access on kernel based root solution so it will in so in simple words we can call it a kernel based root access so this is the main actual difference of kernel okay now talking about some differences between magisk and kernel su so as we can see kernel su supports monet theming where magisk does not support monet theming and talking about this reboot toggle both have same options as we can see okay now talking about some main difference actual talking about the actual main difference so i will uh, actually see you how it works so as we can see here it is my left side this is rooted with magisk and right side rooted with kernel su okay if i open root checker application in both phones uh, as we can see i click on root verify so as we can see in left side the magisk is gives a prompt to access this root access that root checker application where in my right hand side kernel su don't give any prompt okay so this is the actual difference that means uh, we need to indiv gives individual individual access on kernel su so as we can see here it is if i give the access of su permission to that particular root checker application after that we will get the root access for that particular application as we can see now it will see the device is rooted but talking about in magis it is automatically asks a pro, uh, asks in prompt so if we give by mistakely a prompt access then that particular application take root access directly so that's why uh, in magis the whole system is detected the root phone is rooted but in kernel su it is uh, not happened because we need to give individual access for the particular application so this is the main and actual difference between magis and kernel su okay okay now talking about some other difference as we can see so here it is the uh, super user permission toggle interface as we can see here it is like that so as we can see and magis about in uh, kernel su with so inbuilt zygis like that but talking about now, kernel talking SU, about some don't have other differences so, so so if we go on module section both default have inbuilt uh, so looks this like is the same interface main differences but, uh, in magis magis kernel su a lot of modules are supported because it's too old but talking about kernel su it is a newly introduced so a uh, lack of modules is present so of come in upcoming days uh, modules are made for kernel su by developers but presently not good support for modules in kernel su that means a uh, lack of modules is present for kernel su but uh, talking about magisk a lot of mod modules are present in magisk okay and now talking about some other things
Now let's talk about how to find and download kernel SU for your particular device. So first of all, go on Telegram and simply search your device name. Uh, like my device name is Realme XT. So I will search Realme XT. So simply I get a channel of Realme XT. So if uh, search according to your device uh, of your device name and if you get any channel of your device, then you will join that channel and after that uh, you will get a kernel su so if you have a custom rom supports if your device contain if your device have a custom rom support then definitely kernel su will be uh, present for your device if presently not available then in upcoming days definitely kernel su support will be added for you so first of all uh, join your uh, device support channel so here it is the my device channel here is realme xt my device so i join my channel and simply uh, i will find my kernel which contains kernel su so this is the kernel which contains kernel su okay so i will download from here so like that if you also pro uh, follow this same step first find uh, the important point is your device have need to have a custom rom support because if your device don't have custom rom support then directly uh, no one developer build for kernel for you so this is important point is if a custom rom is present for your device then definitely a kernel is present then if kernel is present in upcoming days kernel su is in uh, give inbuilt kernel su definitely you can get by developer so this is the actual meaning which i am going to talk about so as we can see this is my other device channel this is a asus and as we can see this kernel su is uh, inbuilted on this kernel so like that you also need to find kernel for your device so you can find kernel through this process okay if you don't have kernel su then wait for up wait for it upcoming days definitely you can get kernel su okay after uh, downloading kernel su zip i mean kernel which inbuilt kernel su so after that you need to download kernel manager so simply go on this github link simply search kernel su so you will uh, get this um, uh, you will uh, get this page so go on this github page and simply scroll down and click on this latest so presently uh, 0.6.7 this is the latest version of manager of kernel su so simply click on assist and scroll down and at the bo and the bottom as we can see this apk is present latest version apk is present simply click on it and download it so i already download it so i'm not going to download again but you need to download it okay so as uh, we know for managing that kernel su we need to have a kernel su apk that means manager so manage that particular kernel we need to have a kernel su apk so we need to download this both files one kernel which contains kernel su and other one is kernel manager apk okay so i already download these both files you also need to download these both files after downloading completion you need to uh, boot our your device on custom recovery as we can see i already boot my device in custom recovery and first of all we need to take the uh, first of all we need to wipe dalvik and cache after wiping dalvik cache go on backup section of recovery and take the backup of boot and dtbo this uh, both i am in, take the backup of this both images okay if you if you uh, after flashing kernel su if you get any boot loop or your device going to break then you can restore this backup so it will help you to um, recover your device from boot loop okay okay after taking backup go on install section and flash that kernel su okay flash that kernel which contains kernel su which you download from that telegram channel okay after uh, completion completion of flashing then click on reboot okay i'm go i'm already rebooted so let's wait for it
ओके आई डोंट फेस एनी इशू बिकॉज माई डिवाइस इज सक्सेसफुली बूटेड इफ आई फेस एनी इशू देन आई डेफिनेटली बूट माई डिवाइस इन रिकवरी एंड रिस्टोर माई बैकअप इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिकवर फ्रॉम माई डिवाइस सो एज वी कैन सी बूटिंग इज कंप्लीटेड माई डिवाइस इज स्टार्टेड नाउ नेक्स्ट वट इज नेक्स्ट स्टेप गो ऑन फाइल मैनेजर एंड इंस्टॉल दैट ए पी के ए पी के कर्नल एस यू मैनेजर इंस्टॉल दिस ए पी के ओके आफ्टर दैट ओपन इट एंड एज वी कैन सी माई डिवाइस इज रूटेड विथ लेटेस्ट कर्नल एस यू सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल प्रोसेस ऑफ इंस्टॉलिंग कर्नल एस यू ओके एंड सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच वी नीड टू नोट दैट If you using old version of kernel, so and you install latest kernel manager, then it will not be supported. So note this point. You need to have latest kernel as well as kernel manager. So need this both files for working properly kernel su. Okay. So this is a very important point. If you not uh, understand what I am going to say. in very simple words if you are using june build of kernel and you also installed uh, apk manager of uh, june build and the next apk manager is released in july okay or august but your kernel is not released then it will give you um, it it will pop up you uh, please update your please update your kernel su to latest version because after some days it will not work so the mandatory point is we need to have both are updated kernel and kernel su manager also okay now i think you get that point okay now you get my point so okay so this is the actual process <laughs> what is kernel su what is the difference between kernel su and magisk and how to install kernel su on your device so i think i am explain well but due to some <laughs> lack of words i can't explain properly in english so i am sorry for that okay if you understand hindi then you can join my hindi channel where i explain betterly so you can get my point properly so okay Okay if you like this video then please like and share this video love you guys goodbye take care